All right, now welcome back uh, on a still the Good Morning Ninja Show. We just said we'll take that small break to set up some uh, technical issues with our guest. We did all the way from Ghana, and I did with uh, Princess Ibiwu. Uh, how you doing, madam? How you doing? I'm fine, thank okay, you. Okay, now it's good. It's good. <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay, so I was asking you, how is the uh, coronavirus situation in Ghana? What's the, the situation like there? Ah, uh, corona in Ghana, um... Um, a couple of days ago, the our president um, 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 lifted a few of the bans that okay. we were working with. Okay. And so um, churches are now being allowed to um, congregate. Okay, good. And then um, social gatherings, there can be a bit of gatherings here and there and all that. Schools have not gone back to the some of the um, final year students are being asked to report back to school. So, mm. and we're making progress here in Ghana. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Okay, so today's conversation is about uh, the girl child, right? And uh, the struggle she goes through. So, let's even um, set up uh, a, a premise. The girl child has, um, so far, there's been a lot of struggles. How difficult is it to... Uh, they said being a girl child alone, it's uh, a lot of uh, responsibilities, a lot of struggles. So from, from your aspect, seeing uh, you work with children, how would you say it has taken a toll on the girl child? What would you say a girl child experiences on a constant basis as, you know, what are the struggles they um, go through? There are lots of things that the girl goes through. They, they is the issue of teenage pregnancy, mm -hmm. there's illiteracy, there's child labor, mm -hmm. child marriage. We have issues of child marriage where the child is not um, of age, but then has to settle in and then um, be a mother or a wife to mm. someone, maybe someone who got her pregnant. Yes. Um, um, oftentimes I encounter situations where a child has gotten intimate with someone and the parents don't want to um, take responsibility for the pregnancy. So the child is left with no choice but to start living as a wife to whoever got her pregnant. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so, so the, the girl child goes through a lot of um, mm. unfortunate situations that so, doesn't help her. So seeing this, this uh, amount of situations that a girl child would face, uh, how do you think the society can help, can be um, of, to help a girl child through all these various kind of challenges that, uh, that the girl child is faced with? How do you think the society can be involved to help out? Um, I think a uh, 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 cultural belief, hmm. uh, the, the, some of the myths that um we carry around for example people believe that um the male um what the the the, the male the males believe that mm. um they should practice their masculinity on sex or from sex okay so when that happens it's like they, they, they feel they are, or he feels he's a man when he, he thinks he can dominate the woman through sex. Mm. So the tendency of a culture where um, the girl is easily taken advantage of becomes um, a stigma when the girl has to complain of mm. such behavior. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, I believe that the, 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 our myth systems should change. Our belief systems should change. Our thoughts towards people who even go through such um, experiences. As an example, rape. Mm -hmm. Yes, rape, actually, yes. For a child that has gone through rape, the, the child already feels traumatized and guilty. Okay. The child doesn't feel worthy anymore. Hmm. Some people lose their sense of control at that point. Mm -hmm. When they don't have anybody to talk to, they lose their sense of control at that point. So I believe society should be more welcoming. Mm -hmm. We should sensitize people on 
talking and seeking for counseling and healing when they go through such experiences. Mm -hmm. So as, as it is, we, we should, yeah, go on, go on. We should, we should show such people love. Mm. They should, they, they, they should be um, conscientized to know that it is not their fault because a lot of people who go through um, issues of rape tend to blame themselves. Hmm. True. Should I have been there? Could I have fought better? So there, there are a lot of things that society can do to help the girl child. Um, we, should, we should be more accommodating. Recently, a few days ago, I had a call and it was a friend in the UK. And she said, he said, Princess, I need your help. I'm like, what happened? Mm -hmm. He said, a girl that was brought from the village to Accra, as in our capital, mm -hmm. um, Ghana's capital, um, as a help, is being abused. And I was nowhere close to Accra. But I had to start calling people. This was a girl I didn't know from anywhere. Mm -hmm. I had to start calling people. I had to get somebody to reach out to her. I had to get her to be moved out of her location okay. to somewhere closer. I can keep an eye on um, her. see how I can help her. Mm -hmm. And it, it was just like five days ago, but we've managed to integrate her to a new family. Mm -hmm. feels comfortable. We are monitoring to see how best um, she can be helped out of her situation. So I think that society must be more welcoming and more loving, mm -hmm. more understanding. It is not easy. I, I recently dealt with a situation where a girl ran away from home. Mm. She, she got raped at her tender age and then she lost control. Mm. And at the time that I came in, at the time that I found her, she had become pregnant. Wow. And the parents didn't want anything to do with her. So mm. we had to rescue her out of her situation. Um, five years down the line, I, I realized she has HIV. Wow. And wow. at a point, it looked like she knew, but she couldn't, she didn't know what to do about it. And so the medical facility that told her, she, she stopped going there. And then I picked her out of the locality she was in. Mm -hmm. So that was it. She didn't talk to anybody about it. And five years down the line, we now realize she has HIV. And um, with the circumstances and everything, she, she, she has currently run away from home where she was. So mm -hmm. um, it, it's sad. We have to be more welcoming, more understanding, mm -hmm. more loving towards the girl child. There are lots of things that we, we go through. Now, speaking about, uh, you were talking about the reason in your conversation that sometimes a lot of these girls cannot speak up or they wouldn't speak up. Uh, yeah. Why do you think this happens and how do you think we can help them? How do you think the society can help them speak up when these things happen? Because you said uh, there was a lady who you had to help out and she wasn't, she didn't tell anybody about it in her area or where she stayed up, up until when you came in to rescue. So this is a major concern. There are lots of girls out there or girl childs out there who have been, um, 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 been through these uh, situations but can't speak up. So how would you advise them? What would you advise them to do if uh, they find themselves in this situation? There's the issue of stigmatization. Mm -hmm. And so in as much as we create awareness and education on stigmatization, um, we should also preach um, counseling. Mm. In as much as society must know that when a person goes through things like rape, their self-confidence is already gone. So if someone has to know and the person is like, couldn't you have taken care of yourself? Couldn't you have been more careful? It isn't hmm. take the person's spirit down and there is depression. Depression says things. Yes, yes. So society wants to be more careful in handling the issues of rape. Hmm. 
hmm. education must our, our, our media sector must help academic education must go out but in as much as it does the girl child should also be conscious type to seek counseling and healing when something happens that's that's the best that i think can be done they should be ready to seek counseling when anything like that counseling happens to happening. them they should they should talk to they should talk to somebody i i know sometimes there is the withdrawal symptom because of the guilt that they yes. see you yes that's that's yeah. a big issue that's a big issue yeah but but we should we should there should be more education on that thing so that they can feel much more a bit worthy to come out to talk to somebody now, um, speaking about uh, um, children who probably, uh, you, you, you made a reference to a lady who probably, uh, she, she was raped, probably she got pregnant, and in the case like that, for a, for a young girl who probably has gone through that situation, quite young, and it's pregnant, and in her head is, where do I go from here? Uh, as, as a professional who has probably worked with, ki with uh, children in such um, situations, how was it able, how were you able to, you know, walk them through the process and let them know that, okay, this is something they can handle? How was it able, how were you able to do that? Seeing that they've given up hope in, from the very instance of the whole situation. Um, what I did, what I did, or what I do in such situations is that I draw the person closer. Hmm. Um, normally, when such things happen, the person loses trust. True that. They True. because they do that because whoever may have taken advantage was somebody they trusted. They trusted, yes, definitely. Yeah. So when that happens, basically the person loses trust because um, they feel this person could have done better for me. So normally, what I do is that I draw them closer. Um, I try to build a, a bond with them. I I make them feel. I I don't make them isolate themselves. Mm. I reach out to them, take them out often. Tra sometimes travel with them and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't judge. Yes, that's one and thing. Then, it's very necessary. Don't judge. Yes. And and then I encourage them. And then. You, you know, in such situations, there definitely will be times that you would have flashbacks of the event. It may take a long while for you to come to terms with what had happened. Yes. You will constantly have flashbacks. Whether you, you, obviously, it wouldn't be an issue of rape. It wouldn't be something you enjoyed. Mm -hmm. If it was uh, abuse or um, um, abuse comes in so many ways, mm -hmm. child labor and all that, yes. definitely it wouldn't be things that you enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And so you would have flashbacks. You may encounter situations that may take you back to what had happened to you before. Mm -hmm. And that may put you in a state of depression. Mm. True. So normally what I do is that um, I try to keep them from isolating themselves. Okay. And then I encourage them. We, we go out. We meet people we do church together mm -hmm. we learn the word of god the bible to encourage them and all that um yeah basically that those are some of the things that i do um to help the girls that i encounter in the, that situation. amazing um amazing. It, it is not always sometimes we have situations that still may not work Sometimes we have situations that um, the person becomes responsive and yeah. then you see success at the end of the day. Yeah. I had a situation where um, girls reached out to me and I had um, two girls time back and they used to complain of abuse. And as I was trying to see how best we could relate with the family to help out the situation, mm -hmm. and they ran out away from home. Mm. They left home, and later when we found them, um, they were into prostitution. Wow. And at the time, one of them felt she was okay with the lifestyle she was living, and yeah. she was ready to make it around. Wow. Wow. That's, that's serious. That's quite a serious situation. Now, looking at it, now, if um, someone comes across uh, 
a victim, uh, what would you say are the best uh, steps to take in handling a victim? Like if someone comes across or you know somebody who, is, uh, who has been victimized in the, any situation, either rape, child labor, child abuse, whatever it is, or, you know, what is the best uh, way or the best possible things to do if you come across someone in a situation like this? What are the best possible things to do? And make them start believing in themselves. And um, one, you would want to find out as the person, you may want to take the person, if it's rape, you may want to take the person for a medical checkup. Mm -hmm. If it is um, um, the issue of child marriage, it yes. could be a bit complex. Mm. Um, so with, with that, you may want to tread with caution. With because caution. Mm. Then, yes, because then there are, um, if it is child married, then the consent of the lady family has been sought. Mm -hmm. um, there's a male involved. Mm -hmm. So then you have to go and do all your background checks and make sure you know what you are handling to intervene. Mm -hmm. There are some cases of um, experienced people handling um, child marriage situations okay. and um, bride price had been taken. They had to go back and pay back and return the, the bride, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, in it, it depends in the situation of child marriage. You want to be more careful if it is abuse, and um, you want to um, take the person from the immediate environment. Yes. And yes. locate locate the the girl child in a better, comfortable environment that will make her. Um, not feel too traumatized. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it is rape, you want to do all the tests Necessary. available that, that can be done. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want to check for if there's any pregnancy, if there's any sexually transmitted disease, mm -hmm. then you want to engage the people to talk to a counselor who is experienced mm -hmm. and a good one. Mm -hmm. In all the situations, if there's child marriage, the person has to talk to a counselor. Okay. If it's abuse, the person has to talk to a counselor. a counselor. Somebody who would have time for them mm -hmm. and take them through um, processes that would heal them. Mm -hmm. The most important if the person has to come out of the whole situation yes. is healing. Mm -hmm. The most important is healing. If the person doesn't heal out of what they have been through, yes. It leaves with them for the rest of their lives, and it may become dangerous to the individual person hmm. because then they become haywire. Yeah. They they enter into um, all kinds of behavioral patterns that they're not supposed to, mm -hmm. and then society at large is is the one that would hmm. suffer. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Princess, for this very, very enlightening conversation. It's uh, good that we, we address issues like this now because uh, it's becoming a, a recent uh, rise and trend in the society, uh, the abuse of a girl child, rape, child abuse, and uh, child marriage and all that. So it's good that we had time to talk about this. And we appreciate uh, you for being, us on, being on the show with us today. It's a very, very insightful conversation we had. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. I apologize for no, all the No, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for talking to us. Okay, guys, uh, we just had a conversation with uh, Princess Abiwu. Uh, she's a proprietress and also a steward of Redeem Royal Orphans and Ministry in Ghana. And we just had a conversation about uh, the child, uh, the, 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 the girl child and the struggles the girl child faces.